Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on number patterns. This video continues on from previous videos and explores the topic of patterns. While the previous videos concentrated mainly on patterns relating to objects, this video looks at patterns relating to numbers. So the first example we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The above pattern represents the counting numbers starting at 1. It is a very simple pattern and we can easily continue it and write down any other numbers. Now it's very simple because you can see that each number goes up by 1 and we are able to say with 100% certainty, for example, that the next number is 8 and so on. Example 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The above pattern represents the even numbers starting at 0. So it's also straightforward and if we were to continue it on with great confidence we can write that the next number was 14 and so on. Example 3, the above pattern represents the odd numbers starting at 1. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. We can continue it on and we know that the next one is 15 and so on. The reason we can do that with 100% confidence for each of these three is that the pattern is very regular. See how each of these numbers goes up by two? No problems at all. We know that we can get the next term. Example 4, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. The above pattern represents the three times tables starting at three. And it's easy to continue because the next one, all you do is add three and that gives you 24. Example 5. The above pattern represents the 5 times table starting at 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and because the pattern is perfectly regular we know that the next number is 40. Example 6. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The above pattern represents the 10 times table starting at 10 with great confidence we can write the next term as 60 and the example 7 the above pattern represents counting by 100 starting at 100 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 so we know that the next one is definitely 600 now here are some simple exercises following on from what we just did Students could be asked to find the next two numbers in each of the following patterns. So here's the pattern. They write the two numbers. Then they could be asked to explain in words how they found the next two numbers. So as well as writing them down, it's a great exercise to get them to explain to you how they found the answer. And it's exactly the same with the next three patterns. So they write the two terms and then they explain how they found the next two numbers. So patterns is a very important topic and once students become really good at it, it actually helps them in the area of problem solving. 